Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today I'm going to show you an application which will allow you to stream video from your Mac or PC. Uh, if you've ever wanted to take any of the content you have and easily get them uh, on the go with you, with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, this will show you how. Uh, the app is free or paid, so first let's go ahead to Safari or Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Google Chrome, whatever your preference, and uh, we're going to go to InMethod.com. And at InMethod.com, you'll see Air Video. Now you can download this on your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone uh, via the App Store, and it's free. And the free version is only limited in that it allows only a certain number of folders and files to be shown at any one time. The paid version is $2.99 and uh, well worth the money in my opinion. So here we, do, here we go, we'll go ahead and show you the different, um, uh, the different steps in getting this to work properly. So you're going to go to this website in method.com, we're going to go to download, and you're going to pick which operating system you have. In this case it's OS 10. so I'll go ahead and download that, and uh, it should be pretty quick. We'll wait for it to download, I do have a fairly fast connection. I can go much faster than this, but apparently their servers don't upload at that speed, but this is more than sufficient. So again, as you can see, we have six seconds remaining and uh, only a few left, and we'll get this installed. So let's go ahead and if you're on the Mac, uh, you should be pretty familiar with how to do this. If you're on a PC, again, you're going to go through your install method. Uh, on the Mac, we'll simply go here. I'll open a new window and drag and drop this into your applications folder. There we go. Now we'll drag that into our application folder and again I close the folder so that doesn't really help me. Let me go into the folder and we'll go over to Air Video. I'll put this in the dock for now. So you're going to use your favorite uh, uh, install method depending on uh, which which version of OS you're using. So let's go ahead and open this and open it and we'll close out of the window for now. There we go. So we've got the uh, server open. Very very simple. Now on, an, on a Mac you're going to see up here at the top we actually have it running and at any time we can click on that and go to the preferences stop the server or quit or check for updates as you can see now this is the window you'll get now you've got a couple different options right here is where you're going to add the folders that you want to view on your remote device uh, you can add any folder anywhere even on your network so in my case I have a time capsule or which is an Apple router plus hard drive for backup uh, it also acts as a NAS and I have a one terabyte hard drive plugged into it. I can add files from that hard drive to this and they will stream over the network, uh, over my home Wi-Fi network, or remotely wherever I am uh, via Wi-Fi or 3G on an iPhone. So let's go ahead and we'll add an iTunes playlist and it will search your iTunes playlist for any content. Now in this case I don't have anything uh, but just wanted to show you you could do that you can remove whatever you want and you can add a folder. We'll come back to that in a moment. And again here's your option server running yes or no. We'll go to conversion. Now there's no files that are being converted but this program will convert files uh, in multiple ways for you. Under settings we can check it to start at login, require a password, or listen on a custom port. Uh, we can also add or remove the directory we want for our videos to go once they're converted. Let's go to remote uh, and here we want to access the internet remote. So what this means is yes you want to stream outside of your home network. If you don't want to do that do not enable access from the internet. If you do want to stream outside your network turn this on and um, it acts as a secure server running in the background. Let's go ahead to subtitles. We can select subtitles if they have them, preferred languages, uh, even the font in the default encoding we want, and the uh, size of, of the font. 
And here's our logs from live conversion, offline conversion, thumbnail generation, remote support, and subtitles. So let's go back to our shared folders and add a folder. Now here we can add a folder. Uh, in this case, because this is what I use for, um, for different videos that I shoot on the desktop, there's not a whole lot here. So whatever your preference is, uh, this is what we're looking at now. We can add our applications folders. We could just add applications, and if there's any video files in here, we will see them. Uh, now on the other side, here we have uh, remote. Now remote, if I click this, what it does is it gives me a server pin. This server pin allows me to access this remotely from anywhere. Now I'm not going to leave this up, but what it will do is uh, automatically map the port, or you can uncheck it and it'll show you which one it's on. Now. Obviously, I'm going to change this because what's going to happen is right now on your phone, you could log into this and see my server. So you don't want to give this pin to anybody ever. So don't give this pin away if you can remember that um, unless it's someone you want and trust to use this. But on the, on the good side of this, you can also require it or have it require a password so that others cannot access this remotely uh, without your password. So what we'll do is we'll add our shared folders, turn on remote, and what I'll do right now is we'll switch over and I'll show you on the iPad and iPhone how this works. So here's my iPad and I have a bunch of apps on here, but I also have Air Video. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we have some servers up here. Uh, now I'm actually covering these purposely because they have my server pins in them. So let's go ahead and show you what you'll get when you've never entered a server. So we have two options here. We have enter server pin and we have specify address manually. Now the manual is simple. It's an IP address of your home network plus the port that you want to use. The other option is for the server pin. Now what happens is I showed you, uh, you can present a server pin that allows you to easily connect this outside of your home network very, very quickly and conveniently. So let's go ahead and assume you've put in that server pin. And this is what you'll get. I'm connected to my MacBook now. It says Aaron Zolo's MacBook. And we have the three different folders that I've added within the server. Now we do have TV shows, movies, and movies too. These are just the names that I have, but you can choose any name you'd like. Um, we also have the ability to play just about any file except for DRM files. So if you bought something off the iTunes store that's a TV show with DRM, unfortunately at this time you will not be allowed to, to uh, watch it, even though you've paid for it. Uh, so they're assuming the only way you can watch this is if you load it directly onto the iPad and don't stream it. So let's go ahead into something that we can stream. Movies 2. This is actually looking at my movie folder on my MacBook uh, where I do my videos. So let's go into the events and you can see giveaways, overviews, etc. And let's go into the Zolotech outro. And the reason I'm picking that is it's a move, a dot move file or MOV. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. And here it's going to give us a preview. And we have a couple different options we're presented with. We have play, convert, add to iTunes, and play with conversion. Now the best thing about this app, in my opinion, is that you do not have to convert all of your videos to use it. Live conversion allows you to convert on the fly on the server, which is an incredibly nice feature to have uh, when you don't want to convert or spend time converting all of your files. So let's try that out. So what it's doing now is on my MacBook, it's going to start processing this on the fly and streaming it directly to the screen. It's only a four second clip and it should start any moment. So there's the outro to my videos. So that converted it on the fly. Now it really didn't have to do much conversion, but it does work and I've used it multiple times. Now we can just simply play it. It will not give you the play option if you do not have a correct file format for the iPad. And again, and again, you can see that play. So that's really nice and uh, is quite, quite uh, a very useful app on the iPad. Let's go ahead to global settings, and here's your settings. Uh, you have resolution, width, height, uh, quality for offline conversion, bit rates. It's it's pretty uh 
pretty in depth for such a simple and inexpensive app uh, on our part here. So let's go ahead and hide that. So that's the iPad side. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhone side. So here's my iPhone. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Let's go ahead and find Air Video. And since I have so many apps, let's just type Air Video and open that up. Now, I've got, I'm holding it this way just because I don't want you to see my server address. So now again, I have the same thing. Let's bring that in. You can see I have TV shows, movies, and movies too. Let's go into that. And let's go into the event locations. We'll go into the outro, same video. And again, we can play this. And down here we're presented with live conversion, convert, conversion settings, all the same great options we have on the iPad side. Now, the nice thing is, is this works on 3G. So you can see I have Wi-Fi right now. Let's go back and shut that off. Let's shut off my home Wi-Fi. There we go. We've got that shut off now. Let's go back to our multitasking. And we're back where we were. So let's go ahead and just play this. Oh, okay. I didn't I was unaware of this, but on a cellular connection, you have to always use play can play with conversion. So it takes advantage of uh, some streaming. And there we go. Like I said, we're on 3G. There we go. Oh, and my sound is off. There we go. Let's try that one more time. Play with live conversion. You can see we're just waiting for it. So again, it works very nicely on either the iPhone uh, 3G, 3GS, uh, 4, and the iPad. It's a very, very nice app, and I would highly suggest it. Now, the paid version is worth its weight uh, in gold. It's $3, it's not a lot of money, and it lets you have unlimited folders. So I would highly suggest you check that out as well. This is Aaron with Zolotech. Please continue to subscribe and comment. Uh, thanks again for all our viewers, and uh, continue to check back on our videos. This is Aaron again with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.